Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to explaining about the number analogy topic. Uh, in this session, I am going to explaining about number analogy. Number analogy is one of the type in uh, analogy topic. Uh, in the last session, I already explained about the uh, analogy and various types of analogies, uh, number analogy, letter analogy and also word analogy and uh, analogy topic is very important uh, for all competitive examinations, uh, uh, especially banking, railways, etc., UPSC and uh, CSAT. Uh, so please be listen carefully and uh, see what is the question he has uh, given in this uh, question. First, uh, uh, first one is uh, number analogy. Here the numbers are 2751 2751 after that 83 is to dash after that uh, 83 is to dash here uh, first group of elements first group of elements are given and uh, in the second group uh, one element is not given in the second group uh, one element is uh, not given first uh, what we have to do is uh, we have to identify the logic from here to here and uh, or else uh, within the numbers itself what is the logic it is uh, following the same logic is also applied for second group of elements once you got the logic for first group of elements uh, it is very easy to apply it for second group so it is very important that uh, if you want to solve the problems related to number analogy, number series topic plays a major role. Why? Because uh, whatever the logics that you already learn in number series, uh, the similar logic, the same logics uh, that are useful in uh, number analogy. So it is very important uh, to concentrate on number series. Uh, once it is uh, once you got confidence on that, then uh, it will be very easy. So, if you observe the numbers carefully, 27 and 51. If you observe the numbers carefully, 27 and 51. 27, we can write this number as 5 square plus 2. 27 is equal to what? 5 square plus 2. And uh, next one, 51. 51 is nothing but uh, 7 square plus 2. 51 is nothing but 7 square plus 2. Here first one is 5, 5 square plus 2, 7 square plus 2. Now apply the similar logic for second one, second group of elements. Here first number is 83. 83 we can write it as 9 square plus 2. 83 is equal to what? 9 square plus 2. Here if you observe all these numbers, 5 square plus 2, 9 square, uh, 7 square plus 2. After that, uh, 9 square plus 2. After that, 9 square plus 2. If it is 9 square plus 2, automatically this one must be 11 square plus 2. This one must be 11 square plus 2. Why? Because these two are consecutive odd numbers and uh, these two also must be consecutive odd numbers. Uh, as we all know that 11 square is equal to 121. 11 square plus 2 which is equal to 123. 11 square is equal to 121 plus 2 is equal to 123. Therefore, here the answer is 123. In place of this question mark, 123 should be there. In place of this question mark, 123 should be there. That is the answer for this question. Next one. See here. Here the numbers are given as 25 is to 37 is to 49 is to dash. See here, here also first group of elements are given. Most of the cases first group elements will be given and uh, in the second group last element uh, or else third element will not be given. We have to find the logic. Uh, here first group of elements, whatever the logic is applied for first group, the same logic is applied for second group. Here what is the logic uh, it is applied for first group. If you observe the numbers carefully, here also it is looking like uh, squares only, 25 and 49. These are perfect square numbers. Uh, 25 is nothing but uh, 5 square. 25 is nothing but how much? 5 square. Whereas coming to 49. 49 is 7 square. 
and coming to this number 37 what is the logic for this 37 uh, don't think over much uh, here if you observe carefully if these numbers are squares then maximum most of the cases this one also uh, like square only if you observe this 37 that is nearest to the square of uh, 6 6 square plus 1 here it is uh, the logic of n square n plus 1 whole square plus 1 it is the logic of n square and uh, n plus 1 whole square plus 1 here in first case n is equal to 5 here in this case n is equal to 7 therefore next one num next number should be 8 square plus 1 5 square 6 square plus 1 7 square 8 square plus 1 8 square is 64 64 plus 1 which is equal to 65 therefore in this blank uh, 65 should be there therefore in place of this question mark our answer should be 65 65 is the correct answer for this question next one see here here the numbers are given as 9 80 after that 100 dash if you closely observe the numbers this is 9 first number is 9 and second one is 9 square minus 1 second number is 9 square minus 1 see this is n and this one is n square minus 1 here the logic is n comma n square minus 1 n comma n square minus 1 in the similar fashion this is also n and next number is what n square minus 1 so here n is equal to 100 you have to substitute in place of n 100 100 square minus 1 we all know that 100 square is equal to how much 100 square is equal to how much 100 square value is 10,000 100 square value is 10,000 10,000 minus 1 10,000 minus 1 which is equal to double nine double nine therefore in this blank uh, our answer should be double nine double nine here in place of this question mark uh, it should be replaced with uh, double nine double nine here the logic uh, you have to remember is uh, n square comma n square minus uh, one here the logic that you have to remember is uh, n square comma n square minus one that is the logic applied for this uh, problem guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching